here are your absolute value graph examples. All right, you are given the equation and asked to graph it, or you're going to be asked to pick out the graph um, given like multiple choice kinds of questions. So let's look at this one. Remember, we are doing these based on our transformations. And we, in the other video, you've learned that the information given to us in the equation um, tells us what to do from the original parent graph. So remember, this right here, negative or positive, told us if it was opening up or down. This tells us if it stretches or compresses. This tells us whether it's moving left and right. And remember, inside always lies. And this number right here tells us up or down. So how we're going to do this is we are going to first plot your parent function points. Function points on each one of these. And remember, um, flip back to the other side of this page or go back to that other video. Um, that was 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2. I'm just going to plot them. I'm not going to um, draw my lines because that's not what we're looking for. Our second is we are going to move each of these points, each point, by your transformations. Okay? So what is this one doing? It is moving to the right two based on this. And it is moving up three based on this number. So let's take each one of these points from the parent function, move them right two and then up three. So I'm starting over far left and I'm moving it one, two, up one, two, three. That's gonna be somewhere up here. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. And then I can connect my lines. Simple as that. We're not doing anything more than just moving our points the way that our equation tells us to. So let's look at this other one. It is telling us to move to the left three and down one. Remember, inside lies. So let's plot our original points. Sorry, this graph really, I really don't like it. Okay, so let's move each point to the left and then down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, oh, where'd I go? One, two, three, down. One, two, two, three, and that's the same as that one. And then connect your dots, and you have your absolute value. Again, you're most likely going to be given some graphs and asked to pick it out, but I wanted you to know how to do it. All right, now you're also going to be asked to describe the transformations that happen. So if this um, outside here is a negative, I mean, not a negative, is a fraction, then we're going to say it's compressed. Compressed by one half. Then there is no number inside, so it's not moving to the left or right either way. But this number, positive one, tells us it's moving up by one unit. Okay? Easy peasy. All right, let's look at this other one. So let's start with the negative out here. Remember what that tells us? It tells us it's reflected. And you can straight reflect it. I'm cool with that. 
And then if this number is a whole number, not a fraction, then we're going to say it's stretched. I swear I'm writing by two. It does not like me to write down here. Stretch. Stretched. Uh, now it's like erasing, okay? Inside number, remember it lies, so it tells us to move right by one. And then, oh, come on, man. And then our outside number tells us to move down by nine. That's all I'm looking for is what do each of those numbers tell us to do with our original parent function points. All right, now to go from words to the equation. So it wants us to write it as g of x. Okay, so g of x, it tells us to write g of x. Now, the graph is reflected. Remember that means that it's got a negative out front. And it is compressed. So it's going to be less than 1. So our fraction negative 4, that's the number. Remember compressor stress goes out, stretched goes out. That's our A outside. And then it says it's shifted right 5, so that's inside. We want to go right, so that's minus 5 because it lies inside. Finally, it is down by 2. So down is negative, so subtract 2. All right, you're going to be practicing all of these on Canvas. Let me know when you have questions.